Are we... What are we? Uh, I promise to keep you safe, always. You never need the powers of the senses. Yeah, it would be nice not to have to rely on you as my great protector. But, well, I do appreciate the thought. What are we to you? <sighs> Nothing special, of course. You're only the first person who I truly care for. Good a time as any. <laughs> Can't get enough. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I do rather like that, you know. I didn't get that great conversation there between Mince and Astarion. Mince talking about how it's good to be walking in the sun with friends. Astarion said it's a bit of a stretch, but yes, it's nice. And then uh, Mince saying, ah, you may have hair on your head to keep the sun, blah, 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 off. But I have bull. You know, we. Something like looking like twins, and the like, Starion is like, in 200 years, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm kind of glad I can't see my reflection. Do I look like I was born in a bathtub? Yes. Yes, my friend. I don't think perhaps then I should pretend. How dare you? Minsk pretends at nothing, half the way or otherwise. <laughs> Minsk is an open book. With many pretty pictures. We 
haven't known each other long, but I think I would like to know more than... I'd like to be more than friends. Whoa. Have you and Gerald always had such a quarrelsome relationship? We have. Is it not wonderful? Do you even know what quarrelsome means? To irk your friend so that she wishes to fill you with some crossbow quarrels, but knowing she never will for fear of hitting your hamster. <laughs> there is no need for sweet words between companions such as we. Too often those are the weapons of flatterers and frauds. But she who will beat you about the head with the cold and pointy truth, that is a true Wicklaren. For such a title, you hand it out pretty freely. First Dahira, now Jahira. You suggest that Minsk uses the term lightly? Simply leaps from Dinahir to Jahira with no caring for the custom itself? An unworthy thought. And wrong. In between, there was also Eri, uh. my second witch. She needed a protector, and Boo suggested that it might as well be Minsk. And when she went her own way, Minsk and Boo set to thinking. There is power in the Wicklaren bond. Far too much to be wasted on weeping. To use that power to serve the living does not sully the dead. It honors them. Of course, that's nothing to do with a car and bond. It's just being a friend. Sweet that you and Jira have one another after all this time. A hero is only as good as the friends they have at their back. This is why Boo favors this spot just above my buttocks. Why do we stop, my friend? There is evil somewhere with its small pants yet unsoiled. I'd like to know a little more about you. Minsk is an open book with many pretty pictures. Answer me honestly, what's with the hamster? I'd like to know your thoughts on our companions. You hear that, Boo? Your keen skills of observation have not gone unnoticed. Our friend wishes to consult your wisdom. She is. Yes, Boo, I'd love to hear your opinion. So small is Boo that he is often mistaken for a pinecone, and many secrets are spoken in his hearing. He will tell what he knows. But Minsk, of course, will translate. What's your thoughts on Fell Will? Ah, the Great Blade of Frontiers! A fine name. Minsk has no idea what it means, but it suits young Will's air of mystery well. <laughs> it is good to know the city did not go unprotected while I wore pigeon droppings on the wide. Jahira did her part, of course, but she prefers to scowl from the shadows. This city needs a name, a face, preferably a furry companion, too. Yeah, 
you're not a little je bit jealous of his legend? What's need for jealousy? Villainy's backside is ample and vast. There is room for us all, biting fleas astride the great buttocks of evil. How do you take on someone else? Gail. I do not wish to speak of the wizard. I could not have said it better myself. That's great. What's your problem with him? He came to me one night with a little book of mischief, full of words and their meanings. Posterior, he says. Can you say posterior? Pleh. I refused. Means does not need to know the language of wizards. Posterior isn't a wizard talk. It's another word for but. It is an inferior word. Far too long to use in a battle cry. Which is where a butt belongs. Gail would do better to educate himself in the ways of sword and steel than to throw these pointy words at Minsk. Ah, yes. Gail also owns a cat. A cat with wings. That is most unnerving for poor Boo. Are you should give him a break. He's only trying to help. Did you know that he has a explosive magical orb in his chest that could destroy a city? What? That is a thousand times more interesting than anything that has ever been written in a book. Gail! My good friend! Where are you? Means Ganbu would like to hear about the exploding! <laughs> Why do we stop, my friend? There is evil somewhere with its small pants yet unsoiled. Uh. Minsk is an open book with many pretty pictures. And? Who is ready with the musings? What's your thoughts on Shadowheart? Uh, Boo has said it is unkind to speak behind the backs of some of our companions and unwise to say certain things to their faces. All right, enough there. Let's figure out how this works. Are you fucking kidding me? I accidentally take the paint and... red text on it reading all are waited all are embraced none shall escape
don't tell. Okay, I was gonna say, don't tell me this is a maze. Present me well from gifts thine own, or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. I came to be here and took the victim's hand as proof. A grasping hand, an offering vile. Enter now the dread lord's trial. upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants, each returns to do his bidding eternally. No, this city is not your home. This man's infamy is known to you. Sam, fuck. And his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev, a barlist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Davella was right. Not just an imitator, but Saravok himself. This is the court of the dread. Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. But these are not aspirants. You have brought traitors of Baal into our midst. As you stood a statue, Stone Lord, a helpless ornament, your city changed, warped, became ripe for the plucking. While you wriggled neath the city's soil like the worm that you are, it will please my hamster to kill you twice, Saravok. The history they share may be long gone, but the threat of violence between them is as fresh as newly spilled blood. Neither party will let the other walk out of here alive. What purpose do you have in bringing this heretic to the court of Baal? Speak, or death will be your final word. Wait, how do you know each other? Simple. We beat him about the brow and butt until he was dead. This one has long meddled in my affairs and my father's. We're not here to dig up old feuds. I seek the path to the temple of Baal. Let us pave our own path. Starting with the kicked buttocks of that one there. Zerevok once had his chance to taste of goodness, but he spat it back out. Now he may taste boot leather instead. You speak of the past, I speak of the future. Well, aspirant, do the shades of yesterday speak for you too? There are two paths to the temple of Baal. To carve your devotion into flesh or to be the carcass that is carved upon. I answer for myself, sir, if I can mince answers to me. He won't be a problem. Mean 
Zelensk is certain of one thing. It is that he very much plans on being a problem for Saravok. I know this one well. I have traveled in his company. Whatever else may be said of him, he answers to no one but Boo. <laughs> it seems there is some disagreement on who is master here.
resting place. He thirsts for justice! Drink deep, boo! Come closer, come closer.
try my best to save your ass, man. Yeah, I can't control you! If you wish, Minsk will not judge.
crush them down with steel!
That's some extra, extra damage, sour fuck. Yes! Do I get your armor? Citizen, thank the gods you're here. My wrinkles are starting to chafe. As an officer of the law, I demand you free me at once. Don't give me trouble now. Shut up, you annoying piece of shit. 
No wonder Saria went dark. for freeing me so quickly. No idea what those Baalist Burks had planned with me, but those chains were starting to chafe. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I... Uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. I didn't do it for you. I did it to gain access to Orin. How did she end up here? After our chat at Charesse's caress, I thought it best to polish off the bottle I'd started. I started coming over all woozy. My joints stiffened up quicker than a brothel browser's loins. Paralyzed. My vision went black. When I woke up, I was in chains. Overall, a terrible ordeal. One deserving of a drink. I bid you good day, but it's been royally shite all round. Hey, are you sure we're finished? You might not be finished. I am. It's plain to see that I'm well out of my depth here. But you... Well, you gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage. Insight. Heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? The wrinkled orb is correct. Boo remembers the stench of the temple still. Very good. Now, let's talk and find that temple. You forgot your suitcase. Uh, is it fair to say? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wait. 